please tell us more about the alternative origin story featuring Dios Pitru, Dios Pitru, Dios Pitru and Prithvi Mata, especially since it's directly related to Zeus and Jupiter and even the no, even the Norse deities. Sadly, most of what is there of this ancient story is totally pro AIT AMT. Okay, so um, so Dios Pitru and Prithvi Mata, these are the the you could say the in the, in the Rig Veda, there are mentions of, of these deities, these divinities. And they, Dyosh Pitro and Prithvi Mata are essentially the parents of all the other gods. Yeah, Whether it is Agni, whether it is uh, wh- whichever other Rig Vedic deities you have, the entire pantheon of gods, of Hindu gods and goddesses, their parents are Dyosh Pitru, Pitru and Prithvi Mata. The Sky Father and earth mother that's how it is surya is also a son the offspring of of uh, dios pitru and prithvi mata so these are the old prime primordial parent god and goddess in the rigveda older than the old oldest yeah even uh, when it comes to indra the, the parentage is kind of uh, there's there's a lack of clarity on the parentage in, in in some verses he is referred to indra as the, as the, as the twin of agni the twin brother of agni and agni we know is is a child of uh, dyosh pitru and prithvimata so by that sense indra would be the son of dyosh pitru and prithvimata and uh, and so on so indra is referred to as the king of the gods yeah the greatest of the gods the great warrior and there are incredible there are so many references to him in the rig veda more than any other god I, if i'm not mistaken but the old, the primal, the primordial god and goddess are Dyosh Pitru and Prithvi Mata. And you find parallels with this in other religious systems as well. If you look at uh, the old religion of the Turco-Mongol people, people uh, Tengrism, it's called Tengrism, but it's not an ism, it's not an Abrahamic religion. You know, there are lots of people who claim that Tengrism is a monotheistic Abra- Abra- Abrahamic religion. Such nonsense. In Tengrism, also, there's a whole pantheon of gods, and the two primal, the two primary deities are Tengri, the Sky Father, and Umai, the Earth Mother. So once again, you have this parallel. Yeah, it's a polytheistic thing. <clears throat> now, so Dyosh, uh, Pitru, and Prithvi Mata are the two parents of all the other gods in the Rig Vedic pantheon, which eventually became the pantheon of all the Indo-European, the same, the same of the entire Euro, Indo-European culture, which spread across Eurasia, westwards out of India. Yeah. Uh, there is no alternative origin story. This is the story. This is the thing. You can look up the Rig Vedic text and all that. It's all there. You, you, there are even English translations available online. I will not look it up now and put it on the screen. I'm sure you can do that much of homework if you are so interested. So, um, now, when it comes to Zeus and Jupiter, so Dios Pitru became Zeus Pater, and Zeus Pater became Jupiter. That's how it went. Even Western encyclopedias and all, all that will tell you that. So, uh, so the Greek god Zeus Pater is clearly the same. It's a copy. It's a replica of the older Vedic god Dios Pitru. Dios Pitru became Zeus Pater, but in the case of Zeus, Zeus Pater. He also has incorporated elements of the great god Indra. So, so it's look like it looks like they have combined elements of two deities in one. In all the Western gods that are modeled after Lord Indra, Zeus is modeled after Lord Indra. His primary weapon is a thunderbolt, which is Indra's primary weapon, the Vajra. And Indra has two Vajras. One is the thunderbolt, and one is the the hammer which is also called the Vajra. The, the Tibetan Vajra and all, you know, these are hammer-shaped objects that are, that are supposed to be holy. So that is the, the, the club, the mace or the hammer. So Indra had two Vajras. One is the thunderbolt and one is the club or the hammer. So uh, Zeus also has the thunderbolt and he also is supposed to be a hammer god. Jupiter is nothing, is the, nothing but the Roman version of Zeus. So Jupiter is also a thunder god and all that. And then you have the Nordic deity, uh, the pantheon of deities, whose primary great god is Thor, who is nothing but the same as Zeus and Jupiter and Parjanya and all that. Uh, Perun, Perun, the Slavic Perun, uh, a combination of these uh, of, of these deities, you know. So uh, 
and when it comes to zeus and jupiter and thor they very clearly have the same story as indra indra is the oldest of them all so indra in the rig veda is mentioned as having uh, defeated and killed a great serpent a great ahi the old sanskrit word for snake or serpent is ahi ahi so there was this great ahi called ahi vritra who had encircled the oceans of the world all the waters of the world and this has co- this had caused a great drought and everybody would die because vritra has done this had done this so indra went ahead and fought this great serpent vritra and defeated him and he was able to liberate the oceans of the world and water was once again available to to all humans so that was one of indra's great heroic deeds so in the story of zeus he also battles a great sea serpent and defeats him in the story of jupiter obviously the same story in the st- story of thor thor defeats a great sea monster called jormungandr and it's the same story all over again so uh, they are all modeled after uh, after indra actually and they also uh, have incorporated some elements of the old of the oldest god that we know of which is dios pitro because zeus pater is named after dios pitro but he incorporates elements of indra so i think what happened is that there were multiple migrations out of india at some point in time in the aftermath of the battle of the 10 kings which is mentioned which is mentioned in the rig veda itself and many other later uh, migrations also and these migrants they went so far out of india that they kind of lost touch with their ancestral culture but they continued in some, it, it in some form and certain stories got combined together certain divinities got combined together and that's how we had the rise of uh, of of uh, composite deities like zeus pater who is a, an amalgam of josh pitru and and uh, indra and then that um, a copy of that was jupiter because the, the romans they they absorbed gods of everybody they defeated they defeated the greeks the romans and the greeks are actually very very similar people more or less the same people at, at that point in time to 2000 years ago and and greece is right almost right next to to rome you know across the ionian sea the aegean sea all that mm-hmm. ionian sea um so yeah so then they uh, they absorbed the greek god and they started calling him jupiter or maybe they had done it before i don't know exactly what the chronology is but they are the same divinity zeus and jupiter so that is the deal the norse deities are nothing but uh, the norse representation of the old rigvedic pantheon the greek pantheon of gods with some exceptions are also is also a, a replica of the of the rigvedic the vedic pantheon of gods obviously some gods are 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 unique that that may have sprung out of the imagination of the greeks some roman gods may have sprung out of the imagination of the romans but the overall structure of the pantheon is essentially more or less identical as the old the oldest the origin the original pantheon which is the rigvedic pantheon that's the deal that yeah, i i would invite you all i would encourage you all to go ahead and read the rig veda for an understanding of of dyosh pitru and prithvi mata there are several verses that refer to this de- these divinities if you look at an if you if you read an english translation the problem is that you will not see any reference to dyosh pitru the, in english translations he is referred to as the sky father or the heavenly father they don't use the term dyosh pitru for him they use the term sky father or heavenly father or something like that so yeah you you have to ideally you should read the sanskrit version or a translation into your native language maybe whatever indian native language is 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 your mother tongue that would be a more accurate translation i would say but yeah go ahead and read it if you are interested in this it's a very fascinating topic